Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Mikhail Mishutin. I'm head of uh, Udu uh, department at Venter Tech. Our company with Udu more than 10 years. So our first uh, project that was implemented uh, dated in 2012. Currently, uh, primarily, sorry, we focus on such domains like uh, sales, purchase, warehouse uh, management and logistics and finance and accounting. Of course, we do other integrations also, but this is what we uh, do first of all and better. Uh, and you may also know us um, and our products uh, such as Venter. It's mobile application for barcode uh, scanners. Then Direct Print and ZPL Designer. These solutions for generating different types of templates uh, of uh, labels and print them using direct print approach. And uh, e-commerce connectors. Currently we have uh, Magenta Tool, uh, Shopify, PrestaShop and uh, WooCommerce. Um, we love our customers and uh, we like to dive into their business and uh, find proper solutions because each business is uh, unique. It has its own characteristics, uh, rules, limitations and cigar business uh, and tobacco business in general. It's a good example of it. Um, we have implemented uh, several projects uh, in this industry and uh, today I will show you two examples, uh, it, two companies, Darier and Cleave and Zigarin Online. You can see information about the companies um, on the screen. So um, they have different sales channels, uh, supply channels, but uh, what I want to mention that uh, their invent inventory uh, is uh, really big. Uh, Darier and Cleave has 15,000 uh, SKU and the garden online uh, more than 3K. And um, let's take a look what challenges we met during the implementation and how Udo helped us uh, to build the proper solution. Um, first of all, we can separate challenges we met on two groups. First is uh, that is uh, more or less typical for uh, retailers. And yeah, by the way, uh, this company are retailers of uh, tobacco products and uh, primarily they are focused on uh, cigars, cigarillas. So uh, typical retail issues um, such as uh, poor forecasting uh, and purchase process, uh, non-optimized warehouse processes and uh, lack of synchronization between uh, WMS system and uh, marketplaces. And this leads to over sales, complaints from end customers, and of course, uh, affect our reputation. But there are also different, uh, there are also another um, part, a number of features which are specific for tobacco business. Um, first is government regulations. Uh, every country has its own uh, rules and uh, limitations for selling uh, tobacco items. Next is uh, price management. As you may know, uh, tobacco products need to be sold by fixed price. This is called manufacturer fixed retail price or MFRP in short. And uh, we can't sell uh, items at price higher than, uh, than fixed because uh, violation of this uh, rule can lead to serious uh, consequences. Uh, for seller. And uh, next one is high cost of returns. You may know that uh, tobacco items need to be stored under particular conditions of humidity and so on. And uh, when you send your item to customer, um, it can't be there for long. So if it needs to be returned, it means that the product will be uh, like uh, lose its quality and it will be not uh, saleable. And uh, reporting, there are some kind of reports that's on, uh, also specific only for tobacco industry. There is no ready solution for uh, for tobacco resellers, and uh, but with Udo we were able to provide great great solutions. Uh, let me dive into some specific things. So first of all, um, when we purchase. Uh, tobacco items from international suppliers, 
they need to go through some steps. Uh, duty payment, uh, taxation process, and only after it's done, the products are ready to, uh, for, for sale. So, uh, duty payment, it means that, first of all, we need, to, we need to pay duty. We can do it for entire inventory or only for part of it. Once it's done, we move it to taxation warehouse or taxation location. And taxation process, I will tell you later, what is it? And um, uh, it also can be done for part inventory or for entire. And this requires very good tracking and uh, transparent uh, workflow for system. About, uh, yeah, and if we purchase from local, uh, local suppliers, then inventory can be sold to end customers uh, instantly because it's already like uh, text. About taxation uh, process, uh, you, it may be familiar to you. This is uh, what's called tax stamp. And after we pay duty, we need to uh, stick these uh, tax stamps to boxes. But the thing is that first we need to purchase them. And this, um, this purchase order should, create, should be created uh, to government. And um, here are some important things. First, that um, it, it requires around two weeks to, to purchase it. So it's better to do it in advance uh, and not to wait and to start sell, uh, selling immediately. Another thing that we should be, be able to, to, un to understand to which box this particular, uh, particular tax stamp uh, should be applied. Because, you know, when you have 15K uh, SKUs products, they look the same. And uh, to do that, we need to uh, organize careful storing and tracking of, uh, of tax stamps. Um, in case we purchase from local suppliers, these uh, tax stamps are already on boxes, but there is a it's common case when the same product can have different prices. And again, it's... Um, it's a challenge because we need to understand what price we should uh, display to end customer. Um, so what we did, uh, first of all, we tried to be proactive, not reactive, and do everything in advance. So, and it's about forecasting and purchase process. System uh, analyze consumption of products and create all needed operations. Uh, and this is like uh, workflow, um, maybe most complex, but it starts from if we want to sell one cigarette, one single cigarette, just imagine that we need to understand if we have box to unpack it and sell. And if we have no uh, ready, uh, ready box with tax stamps, do we have it under our taxable warehouse? If not, do we have it on duty warehouse? Do we have tax stamps in general? Should we purchase them uh, separately or not? Our system do it uh, automatically and all objects are created, orders for taxation, orders for unpacking, purchase orders. This allows us to sell immediately and uh, saves a lot of time. Um, next is about uh, price management. As was, uh, as I uh, told uh, above, uh, we must organize very good tracking of our inventory and their price. Everything uh, starts from reception, if we are talking about local, uh, local supplies. And uh, here we need to set this price. Uh, but to set it, we, it's like manual process and this is a field for user mistakes. Uh, again, the price we set will be displayed for end customers. So, for example, if we have price 60, we can accidentally uh, enter only 6 and, and that's it. We, we are losing money. So, um, that's why we created a um, separate solution for it. It's Reception Wizard, uh, which uh, minimizes risk of 
user uh, mistakes. And also we link product uh, EANs barcodes with, uh, with price. So now it's uh, almost aut automated and it even uh, not required for user to enter it manually. But the, we have some cases where it's still needed. And uh, th this solution helps to first do it quicker, second, um, reduce user mistakes. The next thing is uh, we, need, we need to understand what price should we display for end user. As I said, we can't sell items with price then higher than on our tax stamp. But from another point of view, we don't want to sell it lower because we're losing money. And um, uh, here, what we, what we did, we uh, created integration between uh, Udo and marketplaces, and we instantly update prices uh, based on stock level. For example, when we have 100 euro uh, box, this price is displayed. But as soon we sell it and we have only 120 next, then our system automatically sent update. And uh, on one of our projects, we calculated that, uh, and, and yes, imagine that we have 15K products and it's, it's almost impossible to track what boxes and what price should be set. And uh, on one of our projects, it was done uh, manually and uh, ma not regularly. And uh, after we implement this solution, we calculated that uh, comparing with old approach, we have up to 20K monthly more than uh, just do it manually and, um, uh, and not regularly or maybe do mistakes. So uh, this was a really, really huge improvement. Uh, next is about reservation and picking. Uh, here I just want to mention that it's really Im important to understand what exact box I should take. Um, so uh, this affects on reservation and picking process also, I mean this MFRP approach. And uh, here we also did some kind of uh, improvements. Uh, next thing is discount management. Um, it's also about uh, regulations because every country has its own rules for discount. Uh, for example, in Germany, it's allowed to, to provide only 3% uh, discount on, um, on s tobacco products and only for full boxes. And of course, everyone wants to do it. So we need to follow market and automatically calculate these discounts. Uh, again, which are based on our MFRP. So um, it's not a like big thing, but it's just specific point and uh, b without, you know, without implementation, it's manual work. Uh, having this, we save time and save money to our customers. Uh, next thing, it's not related to cigars but, uh, and tobacco industry, but I want to uh, tell you more about warehouse and delivery optimization because we, we reached really great results here. Uh, the problems, as I, as I told, was um, a lot of paperwork. Orders were picking one by one. Uh, inventory was not accurate. And um, when we were doing inventory adjustment, like a lot of discrepancy were found. And uh, here we visited this customer and uh, we checked warehouse and uh, analyzed processes and we provided solution for him. Uh, first of all, we optimized structure, warehouse structure. We defined um, some zones for single uh, items, for example, and um, make it more, like, let's say, effect, uh, more, more effective. Uh, next is uh, we implement advanced cluster uh, picking approach and you see example of um, cart which is using by the way Seager, Seager uh, are really suitable for that because quite small and it's possible to, to use uh, cluster picking approach and uh, instead of doing one by one it's now it's possible to uh, 
peak from 12 to 16 orders at the same time. Uh, next, we built optimal routing uh, to make sure that we spend um, like less, less time for just going around warehouse and uh, check, checking where product is. Uh, then we, uh, we are using our product there, mobile application which just guides users where to, where to take and want, uh, where to go and what product to take. And uh, we use direct print for printing um, uh, carrier labels, uh, some uh, invoices, uh, custom declara uh, customs declaration and, and so on. So this allows to save even more time. And um, it totally uh, on Diary and Cliff project, uh, our client calculated that it saves, it improves performance of picking process more than two and five uh, times. I will show you numbers uh, in a few s slides, but this is really, really a great result. And um, also we have some uh, integrations there, but one thing I want to mention here is integration with carriers because tobacco, uh, t tobacco items should be delivered using special uh, age verification service. And uh, sometimes it's, it makes sense uh, to not use it when we, uh, when we deliver non-tobacco items, for example, like ashtrays, cutters, etc. So we implemented integration with DHL. We have uh, our custom logic, which analyze what we sell and, uh, and um, set delivery delivery method uh, themselves without uh, like employee involvement and uh, also uh, when we sell items internationally we should generate customs and create custom declaration and uh, this is a document which uh, has around 20 25 fields and uh, also it requires time and we have integration and this uh, document uh, generates automatically, prints via direct print solution, and um, it's very easy and uh, uh, like useful for, for our clients. Um, result in numbers. Let's then summarize. Uh, on the Iron Cliff project, performance of picking process was increased more than two and five times. If we convert it to effort and to employee, it saves 110k uh, annually, euro, I mean. Uh, next is synchronization of sales price between Udo and Marketplace. Uh, it allowed to generate up to 12k monthly, comparing with the uh, manual approach I told you previously. Accurate processes reduced uh, amount of returns by 95%. Uh, next, adopted reception, wizard, and linking uh, EANs and MFRP increased speed of reception three times and totally removed user mistakes. Uh, and finally, in total, while working with us, uh, Diary and Leaf company generated at least uh, 500,000 euro, and we continue working uh, with them. Uh, last but not least, uh, for small and medium companies, business owners are usually involved in business, uh, in, uh, sorry, operational routine. Um, all these things that were improved allowed our clients, our business owners we worked with, focus on other uh, activities, more, more strategic activities, strategic tasks. And we have uh, short video from uh, our client who want to tell you something. As you could see from Mikhail's presentation right now, uh, Venture Tech was doing a lot of work for me over the last years and this is the reason why I have more resources now and more time to uh, focus on other new projects and one of them is uh, our own tobacco plantation in Central America and I'm just about to head off there to get started and I wish you all the best with Udu as well and I hope you will have the same success 
with um, with, with your Udo system. Take care. Bye. Yeah. So Alex is now um, becoming not reseller but uh, uh, manufacturer of tobacco in Central in Central America. Uh, actually, that's it. What I want to show you. Uh, thank you for watching.